Before we start, I hope if you are not a subscriber, please subscribe to the channel to receive all new videos. Our film begins with Agent Henry waiting for the train to pass to assassinate a terrorist. Then a young girl approaches the man, and his friend tells him to wait until the girl leaves. When she moved away, his friend allowed him to shoot. When they meet, he tells Henry that it was the best operation they had ever carried out. He asked him where he was injured, and he told him that it was in the neck. He told him that four snipers before him were unable to kill him, and he asked him to delete the video. When he reaches his home, it appears on his mobile phone that there is a person who entered his area. He finds that he is his friend and asks him whether he is really retiring or not. He tells him that he will retire, and he tells him that he is their best agent. Henry tells him that at the time of the operation, there was a young girl close to the target, and without luck, she would have died, and that he is searching for peace. When he went to rent a boat, he found that the man had been replaced with a girl named Danielle. He asked her about him, and she told him that he had retired. He takes the boat and heads to his friend Jack, who used to work with him at the agency but has retired. He asked him about the man who assassinated him, whether he knew him or not. He told him that he assassinated him yesterday because he was a terrorist, and he told him that he was a biologist. He has been working in America for 30 years. He told him that he had read the file and that he was a biological terrorist, so Jack told him that the file was forged and he did not know the reason for killing him. Henry asks him for the name of the person who told him this information, so Jack writes him the name and knows that the agency is monitoring him, and that they lied to him, they decide to get rid of him. When he returns on the boat, he discovers that they were spying on him, so he goes to the new girl, gives her the microphone, and tells her that she belongs to the agency. So she asks him, what agency? He told her that they sent her to spy on him, and she replied that she did not know anything about what he was saying and that she was studying fish resources. Then he asks her for a time to meet so that he can apologize to her and goes to meet her with a bouquet of flowers, he shows her a piece of paper with all her information, so she asks him where he got it from, and he tells her one of his friends. And then she knows that he has known her truth. After that, Jack's wife calls him to sit with her for a while, and he feels that there is danger, so he takes out his weapon, and when he comes out, they catch him and kill him and his wife. After a while, Henry sees that there is an alert on his mobile phone that someone has entered his area, he goes to a secret place in his house and calls his friend to warn him, but he dies, he grabs his weapon and runs out to kill them. He goes to Daniel while she is sleeping. When she senses his presence, she points her weapon and asks him why he is there. He tells her that as long as she is sleeping, she will be the second target. He asks her to bring the key to the boat, and when she goes, she finds someone who wants to kill her, but she can kill him, after a while, Henry goes to her and she tells him that the one who sent her is Lester. He tells her that if she wants to go with him, he would like her to forget her past, so she throws the mobile phone and leaves with him. When they arrive, they wait for his friend to take them, and after a while, he takes them and leaves, so Henry calls his friend and asks him why the agency is chasing him. He tells him that he has no information, and that Ferris, his friend, the founder of Gemini, works with Lester, the director of the agency, and he has nothing to do, he asks him about the scientist who killed him. Does he have a relationship with Gemini? He tells him, oh, he had been working for them for some time. Then they go to Columbia, and Henry talks to him about the founder of Gemini, and that Ferris takes billions to assassinate people, and that this is an institution for informal kidnapping and torture of people. He tells her that he once went with Ferris in a boat, so he tied his leg and threw him into the water. Then he saved him and told him that he was ready to work with him. While he is sleeping, he feels movement on the roof, and Junior becomes a miniature version of himself, so he wakes up Daniel and Baron. He told them that he would kill him, and when he was walking, he noticed his presence and shot him, he hides in the car and Junior shoots him and he runs away. When Henry finds him with the same features, he refuses to kill him. Then they go to a deserted place and exchange fire. Junior escapes, and when he was going up to Henry, he told him that he could have killed him while he was on the roof, and he replied that he should have taken advantage of such an opportunity. When Henry threw a Junior bomb at him, he returned it to him again, after which Henry took the motorcycle and fled from the place. But he finds him behind him and shoots him more than once, but nothing hits him, then Henry falls to the ground and tries to kill him. 
At that time, Henry's friends come and the police arrest Henry. Daniel gets him out of prison, and then Henry asks Baron to take him to Budapest because he has a friend there and the agency does not agree to kill him because of his retirement. While they were on the plane, Daniel asked him whether he had children or not because there was a great similarity between him and the man who was chasing him. He said that he also noticed this, and when he saw it, he felt as if he saw a ghost that reminded him of himself when he was young, then we see Junior being treated and he tells Ferris that Henry knew all his moves and Junior was amazed by that person. Then we see Junior and Ferris at the training place, and Ferris tells him that he must travel to Budapest to kill Henry there, after that, Danielle went to a laboratory and gave them samples from Henry and Junior. When Henry returned, she told him that Junior was as good as you because your DNA was very similar. They ran the test several times and the results were the same, when he asked her why they specifically chose him to clone him, she told him because there is no one who can kill a person on a fast train with a sniper. When Leo Rio went, he told him that the reason that prevented him from killing him was that they had a common enemy, Ferris, and that Ferris was the reason for cloning people using DNA. He told him that Ferris took his DNA and raised Junior as his own son, and Henry asked him why they sent him to kill the biologist. He said because they discovered that he had developed a modified nuclear DNA that cloned human soldiers, smarter and stronger, and Ferris wanted to create monsters, so they sent him to kill the scientist, then Danielle tells Henry that he must talk to Junior and tell him that he is a copy of himself, and this is the best way he can get rid of Ferris. Then he called Lester and told her that he had kidnapped Agent Danielle and that he would bring her back with Junior, whom they had sent to kill him. When Daniel meets Junior, he calls Henry and tells him that he has 12 minutes and if he doesn't come, he will kill her. Then they go downstairs, and Junior makes more than one trap for him, turns off the lights, and ties her up, when Henry went, he detonated the bomb that Junior had placed. Then, Junior attacked him, but Henry was able to catch him. He takes him and goes to free Daniel, and then he tells him many things, such as what he likes or hates, and tells him that he is just a copy of him. But Junior was not convinced by that and they beat each other, and Henry was telling Daniel not to kill him, but when she found out that he was going to kill Henry, a bullet hit him in the shoulder and then he ran away, when Junior goes to Ferris and confronts him with the truth, he tells him that he was lying to him and that he is just a copy of Henry, but he convinces him that he is his son and that he did it to be better than Henry, after a while, Henry and his friends are walking together. And Junior is waiting for them, and he injects Henry with an injection of bee venom to see if he is allergic or not. When he is sure, he apologizes to Henry and extracts the tracking device from Henry's body and tells him that they put it in his body three years ago. They agree to stand together against Ferris. While they were on the way, Junior asked him to tell him about his mother, so he told him that she punished him a lot for and without reason. Junior laughs and tells him about his father and that he left them when he was five years old. Then Junior gets a call from Ferris asking him if he is with Henry or not, he said, how can he be with him when he is going to kill him and Ferris asks him to stay away from him and finds that Ferris's men are in front of them and are firing a missile at them, they jump out of the car, but Baron dies inside. After that, Junior goes to Ferris and asks him to stop all this. At that time, heavy gunfire is directed at Henry and Daniel, and they are able to kill a number of them. Junior hits Ferris and knocks him unconscious, Danielle is injured, and just as she was tying her foot, Ferris men attack but Junior intervenes and saves them, and Henry thanks him, after a while, Henry sends them a stronger person who is not affected by bullets or fire, and after a very long struggle, they are able to kill him. When they remove his mask, they are surprised that he is the third version of Henry and that it has been modified, then Ferris goes to him and tells him that he wanted to make an entire army out of him, and they are just as efficient. At that time, Junior wants to kill him, but Henry prevents him, he takes the weapon from him and kills him himself. Then he goes to his friend and tells him that they have destroyed the laboratory and there will be no more cloning operations. Six months later, Henry meets Danielle and congratulates her on the promotion. When he sees Junior, he is given a file containing a passport and birth certificate with a new name. Then Junior looks at Henry and tells him that he cannot imagine when he grows up he will be so ugly. And here the movie ends. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.